airplane. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Riff Hero here. Welcome to yet another iteration of the Transcribe and Apply series. So today I'm covering a Tom Quayle solo that takes place in a Martin Miller song called An End in Itself. It's a pretty cool one, especially if you feel curious as to want to get a taste of Tom's playing because it involves lots of melodic playing, rhythm, his crazy legato stuff, which he's perhaps most known for. You know, an overall encompassing approach to the Tom Quayle guitar rulebook, if you will. Yeah, anyways, uh, still what you want, uh, play with it, transform it, and let me know how you do with it. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, so that was the transcription and my interpretation of it. I hope you liked it. And so now I would like to break down a couple of my favorite moments from the whole thing. I'm gonna do that by starting with this one. So this is basically an E minor pentatonic run with an added 9 that you can see here and here but generally speaking E minor pentatonic okay so what I like about this one it's more on the side of the rhythm the first part of the lick starts in an offbeat and then in a strong beat one octave above so when played all together it gives this kind of interesting unbalanced rhythm vibe to it that it almost feels dangerous because you don't know if it's gonna resolve on time but it does and you know the first time that I heard it I thought it was really risky but also rewarding at the end. And also the fact that it uses hybrid picking to highlight that intervallic sound that makes you almost forget that you're playing a regular pentatonic scale. So yeah, some little hidden details that makes it for a really cool and interesting phrase. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is lick number two and this is classic Tom Quayle legato. I know it looks like a really complex passage to play, but you know, don't be put off by how it sounds. I mean, don't get me wrong, it definitely has its learning curve, but I bet most of you guys are already familiar with some of its core elements. For instance, we're using a classic three note per string pattern and you know, the only difference is that you're gonna use lots of hammer-ons and pull-offs on your left hand and a bit of hybrid picking on your right hand. So the way that I did this is by always picking the first note with the pick and then as I would go through it, I would just help myself with one of my remaining fingers. So the tricky parts I would say are the jumps between strings, in which case I would recommend you to simply isolate that part until you feel comfortable with it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the big one. It starts nice and slowly and then all hell breaks loose. Okay, so this one's based on C sharp minor pentatonic the whole time in which or minor blues pentatonic because you get that sharp 4 quite a bit. For example, here, here and here. And you know, I really like how this lick starts because I felt I learned a new way to break out of that pentatonic box thing. You know, by going for a more intervallic string skipping kind of thing. And you know, you can use hybrid picking to add to the flavor, but you know, it's really not that necessary. I did it, you know, for extra points, whatever. And of course that whole legato hybrid picking thing section. And you know, what worked for me was that I divided it into sections so that I could focus on getting each part right. And you know, not gonna lie, this one took a little bit more effort to feel like I had it. And you know, by a bit more effort, I mean days and days and probably weeks of constantly practicing it. Don't be discouraged if you don't get to play this as fast as Tom Quayle plays it. There's a lot of value of playing this even if it's at your own speed. A phrase is a phrase and sometimes it's more about the message and the vocabulary that it contains than the way that it's presented to you. Okay, enough talking, here it is slowly. <laughs> Okay, so that was the video and you know, leave a comment down below. Ring the bell for further video notifications. Okay, take care and until the next one, see ya.